Hey champions, this is Arian Tyson out of St. Louis, Missouri, and I'm just coming back at you to shoot a quick video. Um, I'm just leaving the gym. I felt like I left it all at the gym, um, but I feel I feel great. Um, I feel I feel energized right now, so I just want to come back at you and, and uh, shoot a quick video. Um, I wanted to uh, talk to you, and I wanted to um, really encourage and challenge you. And I, and I want to uh, tell you to um, do not take your dreams for granted. And let me preface my comments. You have to treat your dreams like you're supposed to treat yourself or like you're supposed to treat the people that you love. Um, now, there are times where we can take the people we love for granted and as a result, there are consequences to that. The same could be said about taking our dreams for granted. When you take your dreams for granted, you set your back, you set yourself back, you know, months, maybe even years, when you don't decide, when you decide to not make a decision and go after your dreams. Because the longer you wait, the harder it's going to be for it to come true. Because the circumstances come up in our lives, um, no one's immune to them. And it's how we respond to the adversity that determines how God blesses us and how fast our dreams come true. And I've often heard it said that money is attracted to speed and that's very true. And so you have to be willing to invest in your dream. You have to be willing to do what is necessary to make your dreams come true. And in the process of doing things, doing the things to make your dreams come true, that's you no know, doing the things that's necessary to make your dreams come true. Um, last I checked, there's no time for excuses. There's no time for excuses. Um, you're going to have to go at it. You're going to have to go after it. I mean, it's your dream. The people around you should not have to go after your dream harder than you, than you can. Because you're the one that has the clear, concise vision. And if you don't have clear, concise vision, you need to get some. It's just that simple. And so... You have to treat your dreams like your significant other or if you're married, like your spouse. You or, or if you have children, you have to treat your dreams like you treat your children. You have to nurture it. You have to basically, you have to train yourself on it and you have to be willing to make the sacrifices that are necessary to make your dreams become a reality. So I challenge you, if you are taking your dreams for granted, stop the madness now. If you are someone that, or, that, that is scared to dream or are afraid to dream, stop the madness now. You need to make a decision starting now. If you, not have, if you have not already done so, that you're going to get it done. Why? Because your dreams, your future, your family's future depends on it. And for those of you who understand why it is, why it is so important to not take your dreams for granted, I challenge you to connect with me. I challenge you to reach out to me because as someone who used to take his dreams for granted, oh, rest assured, I'm speaking from personal experience when I say, if I knew then what I knew now, what I know now, I'll be so much further along, but that's okay 
because I woke up and I made a decision that I'm going to go after it with or without the support of those who say they love me. You have to make that decision as well and watch how doors open up for you and watch the quality of people that you attract into your lives. So click the link below and we'll see you on the other side. Peace.